Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we are going to cover few of the applications of minimum spanning trees. So let's start with a little discussion on what a minimum spanning tree is. For those of you who need a detailed description, may refer to our previous videos that we have made on MST. So minimum spanning tree is a subset of edges of a connected edge weighted undirected graph that connects all the vertices together. Also it has no cycles and the edge weight is the least possible. If we are given this weighted undirected graph with 9 vertices, we may have a number of possible spanning trees. But the one where the sum of edge weight is minimum will be our minimum spanning tree. This is the MST of our given graph. You can verify here that we have no cycles and also the sum of weight is minimum. Now we move on to the application of MSTs. The first is network design. Since we are almost surrounded by various type of networks, we may sometime require to access all nodes such that the edge cost is minimum. For example, if you have a business with several offices and you want to lease phone lines to connect them with each other and the phone company charges different amount of money to connect different pair of cities, you would want to connect all your offices with a minimum total cost. Here you would require a minimum spanning tree. Such type of network applications are common to telephone, electrical, hydraulic, dish cable, computer and road departments. Next to follow are the use of MST in approximation algorithms. Travelling salesman problem is an NP hard problem where we are given a list of cities and the distance between each pair of cities. We need to find the shortest possible route that visit each city exactly once and returns to the origin city. So one of the approximation of TSP would be to find MST weight and multiply the cost by 2. This approximation can however be improved further. Next we have is a Steiner tree. Given a graph and a subset of vertices in that graph, a Steiner tree is one that spans through the given subset of vertices. The Steiner tree may contain some vertices which are not in the given subset but are used to connect the vertices of subset. Such extra vertices are called as Steiner vertices and the given subset of vertices are called as terminal vertices. So if we are given this weighted undirected graph and terminal vertices as vertex A and D, the minimum Steiner tree of this graph would look like this. Here we have vertex C as Steiner vertex. Now had our terminal vertex been all 4 A, B, C and D, then the minimum Steiner tree would be the same as minimum spanning tree. In general, Steiner tree problems are solved using combination of MST and shortest path problem. Next, we see few indirect uses of MST. The first is maximum bottleneck path problem. This is also known as widest path problem. Here we find a path between two designated vertices in a weighted graph, maximizing the weight of its minimum weight edge in the path. Given an undirected graph, we can form its MST and then pick the required edge weight to be maximum or minimum bottleneck value. Next we have low density parity check, image registration and other industry based uses of minimum spanning trees. Finally, we have a cluster analysis which is a technique used in machine learning and data mining fields. Here we form groups based on some similarities. 
there are many algorithm that exist for clustering few of which require the formation of mst for the given set of objects and then eliminating few of the edges based on some threshold value with this we come to an end of this tutorial we have covered few of the many applications and you are free to comment below any other application that you would like to share also if you have any doubts or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching